All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. You can join me on more truck camping, fishing, and just videos like this. So today I'm gonna to go over my top five modifications that I've done to this truck, my Tacoma pickup for truck camping and fishing. So let's get right into it. All right, so if you guys haven't seen any of my truck camping videos or the build videos I've done on my little uh, truck camper here, this is my 2015 Toyota Tacoma long bed. I bought this cap a couple years ago, refurbished it, and built it out to uh, be able to camp and fish out of it. So uh, I'll leave those videos down below. You can go check those out. Um, kind of goes into more detail on how we built this. But this right here is item number one. It's obviously my bed and my cooking drawer slide out. So this is a six foot bed and what I did, and I'll link all this stuff down in the description below so you guys can find it yourself, but I built this drawer slide here out of 500 pound drawer slides. Uh, they're locking, um, lock it down, pull it out, and we have a five foot drawer slide that comes out of our six foot bed. So up front we have a little bit of extra storage. On the end of this, we even have another two feet a flat surface here so it's really a seven foot slide out in a six foot bed um, now i've got my little coleman stove here i've got everything i need to cook meals on do catch and cooks uh, spend a couple nights out in the woods and i've really enjoyed this the last couple years i kind of built this to fit my needs it's more of a minimalist build i don't need a ton of stuff it's given me some ideas for the next build that i do so uh, stay tuned. Um, I don't know when that's gonna be. When we get another truck someday, we will be building another one of these with uh, some upgrades to it. Um, to find out what those are, you have to stay tuned. So, um, but we got, a, we got our mattress in here. Um, everything slides under there. And then all with I think four screws, four or five screws, I unscrew it. In the winter, I can pull that bed right out and then I have uh, all that room in there to throw all my ice fishing gear, my sleds, jet, jet sleds, augers, and stuff like that. So it's really quick and removable, and uh, it's just enough. I, you know, I wouldn't want to spend a lot of time in here, but a couple nights is just fine on this little mattress cooking setup. So, all right, so that's mod number one. The second one that we're going to talk about is my ultimate rod case. So this is built by ultimate rod case. You again i have a completely separate video of when i first got this but i've been using it for a couple years now but this is probably my favorite mod that i've done to the truck so far i can fit up to 11 foot rods in here and because i bought this hybrid model um, it has a longer end to it i can fit more than just fly rods in there i can fit split grips uh, two hand rods i can fit bait casters and spinning rods and they all fit right in there perfectly this thing lives in my truck year round i don't take it off it's made out of aluminum so it's not going to rust on you when you get salt on the roads and this one is the four rod holder so we can fit four in there i can see i got a spinning rod some fly rods and they all fit in there nice if you guys are looking for a rooftop rod case i definitely recommend ultimate rod case because they can build anything you want. They can build custom cases. They have a bunch of pre-made options that you can choose from as well. I'll leave the link down in the description below. Go check them out if you're in the market for one. So number three here is one that I just did the other day and I should have done it a long time ago. But uh, if you're truck camping in and out of the back of your truck, you definitely need to do this mod. It's not all that expensive and it's just, uh, it's just way more convenient. My truck didn't come with this, but I, I installed the tailgate lift assist so it falls down nice and slow doesn't slam down and beat everything up and then we also installed the flat hook road uh, tailgate cover so we have a bunch of flat surface to cook on and to just set items on and it's a lot more comfortable crawling in and out of the truck with that on there you can see right here this is the lift assist little shock that you put on your tailgate and it goes on super simple. It only takes about five minutes and it allows you to just let your tailgate fall on its own. You wouldn't think it would be that big of a deal, but it's a pretty nice luxury to have. So really liking this flat surface as well. And I do kind of like they put cup holders on the side here. I set my coffee there in the morning and it doesn't slide off my tailgate. So uh, definitely if you're truck camping, you've got to get a flat tailgate surface. You can make one, but this hook road one 
was fairly inexpensive compared to a lot of the other ones. I bought it myself. They didn't give it to me. I would buy it again, 100%. So my fourth favorite thing that I've done to this truck is definitely gonna be the Overland Vehicle Systems awning that we put on here. Now, I guess it doesn't really matter what brand you get. They're not paying me. I bought the thing full price myself, but for the money, this is probably the best 270 degree awning you can get. I'm not gonna pull it out right now, but I'll pop up some clips of using it. It's got really sturdy aluminum reinforced uh, ribbing on there. It has legs that can fold down if you want, but most of the time, and this is why I bought it, I don't need to put the legs out and anchor everything down. It's such a sturdy awning. I've actually used it on a few trips and I'm glad that I had it because if I didn't have the awning and we were sitting outside, we would have been soaked and would have been a miserable trip. So this awning has saved a couple trips for me. If you're truck camping, whether you're trying to get out of the sun in the heat or out of the rain, uh, the elements, definitely check out this uh, Overland Vehicle Systems 270 awning. For the price, like I said, I don't know if there's a cheaper option that for a nice 270 that goes all the way around your vehicle. So the last thing, number five on the list for my top five items that I've really loved having on this truck so far. It's kind of a twofer. It's a power source and a lighting source. So uh, you guys might have seen when we built this truck cap, uh, this little battery pack that I have here. And I have videos on how you can build this yourself. Um, it's just a little kit, a little ammo can. You gotta buy the battery, this really cheap switch system, and everything fits right in there. And this is just a little 10 amp hour battery um, that I've had uh, to run like a fish finder off from, a little flasher for ice fishing. I haven't charged this in probably a year, and it just stays in the back of my truck all through the winter. And um, you can charge your cell phone. It's got a 12 volt plug there. Um, of course, you can get a bigger battery. Video that we did when we built this box, I was actually actually using a 40 amp hour battery, which that thing would last a long time. I power all my lights and my shacks with it. Another option would be getting a uh, power station like the LiPower 300 watt uh, power station that we run my little refrigerator off from. But I use this and my other power station to basically charge cell phones, camera gear. Like I said, I run my refrigerator when it's in here. And, but the most important thing that I run is my lighting strip in here. We're shooting it on the cell phone here, but you can see it's just a cheap lighting strip from Amazon. I'll link it down below. I think it was like a 24 foot roll and it just has an adhesive on the back. The wiring goes down to that battery. So you just cut the strip to fit whatever section you need and uh, wire it into your battery. And what I did was I wired the end of the lights into a 12 volt plug so I can easily just plug it right into my box here. And then I just flip the switch and the light comes on in there. So everything fits up in here nicely and I can still reach up here, flip my lights on. And for winter, when it gets super dark and I'm ice fishing, uh, having that light source in there, that light strip is so bright, it'll blind you. It'll light up this whole area. And it'll even light up some out here when we're cooking on the grill. So, uh, I mean, you can, you can go wild with these things and run them out you know, over your awning or run them out over the end of your truck cap here and light up the whole area around your truck. So, and they're super cheap and uh, easy to wire up, so. All right guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that video for my top five mods that I've done to my Tacoma here for camping and fishing. If you guys truck camp, leave your mods down below what you've done. And uh, if you guys wanna see something else done to this truck, leave them down below. Maybe we'll do it in a video. So thanks for watching guys. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you in the next video.